Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronis with it and I and in this tutorial I'll show you guys how to do skin retouching in less than 15 minutes and the image we're going to be using is taken by Oscar Antega and I'm going to put the link to his YouTube channel in the description of this very video so that you can subscribe to this channel and check him out. He's an amazing photographer so let's kick in and start learning about how to retouch skin in less than 15 minutes. So the very first thing you have to understand is the concept of how to remove blemishes from your images in photoshop so we have different tools that we can use to remove blemishes so the very first tool is the spot healing, healing brush tool and how this works you have to use the box bracket to reduce on the size and increase on the size of uh, the spot healing brush tool by using both the left and the right bracket so the right bracket increases on the size and the left box bracket reduces on the size so how this works you have to zoom in by clicking ctrl command plus and simply making so it is slightly bigger than the blemish you're going to remove and simply left click over uh, to clean up or remove those blemishes so this is really a nice tool for those tiny blemishes from your images so just come and click over to uh, remove those blemishes and for areas where you have a big blemish like this area you can simply right click here and select the patch tool and simply draw so you left click and move your mouse over the blemish and uh, left click and drag it over to a clean area to replace that blemish with a cleaner part of the skin basically that is how uh, the patch tool works when you're trying to remove the blemishes or clean up skin in photoshop so i think uh, this image is really nice and beautiful so let's just uh, remove these blemishes and drag to a clean area and let's clean up there and get rid of this line too and when we are done cleaning up this the next step you're going to be doing is going to be uh, skin retouching so you're going to be doing skin retouching using the concept of frequency separation uh, to this very image so i think we have cleaned up the blemishes from the image so you always have to make sure to remove all the blemishes so the next thing uh, we have to do you're going to duplicate this layer by hitting ctrl or command j twice and you're going to name this so basically what you're going to be learning about is frequent separation and frequent separation is a skin retouching technique that is going to divide the image into two it is going to divide the image into the high frequency and the low frequency uh, basically the high frequency is going to be containing the textures and the low frequency is going to be containing the colors and the skin tones so when you work independently on those layers and refine each layer independently we are going to be able to get a nice results on those separate layers so that when you join both layers we're going to be having a nice smooth and retouched image in photoshop so you're going to name this layer so basically right click that we're going to name that low a frequency and you're going to name the up layer high frequency so these are the two layers we need high frequency just like that so these are the layers we need for skin retouching so turn off the low frequency layer and target or select the uh, we have turned off the high frequency layer and they have selected the low frequency layer so now come to filter then come to blur and come to Gaussian blur so under this step move the radius all the way to 0 0.1 so you have to move to use these tools right here and zoom into that area that seems to have prominent textures in your image so for this case we're going to be using this part of this uh, cheekbone and make sure you left click here and move this radius up to that point when these details in the skin are starting to get lost out of the image remember the details we lose out right here are going to be placed in this layer on top so make sure you do that and it's going to be a detail you're going to be remaining with after doing your skin retouching so Make sure you do that up that point. So I think at around 6 we have lost out on the details in the skin area. So simply hit OK. And now come the high frequency layer and now activate it. Then you're going to come to image and you're going to come to apply image. So when you come to apply image, we want to only remain with the textures in this high frequency layer, remember. So first of all, we want to get this layer that uh, where we want to steal the textures from so remember when we blur them out uh, we hit them in a given store embedded in this low frequency layer so select the low frequency layer 
come and change the blending mode from uh, multiply off from whichever it is and change it to subtract so since this is an 8-bit image we're going to be using subtract so opacity at 100 scale is 2 offset 128 make sure invert is not checked and make sure the preview is on and when you do that uh, your details are going to be on this gray kind of layer so for those interested in the difference between an 8-bit image and the a uh, 16 bit image frequency separation i'm going to put the link for you guys right above here so hit ok and you're going to notice that the textures are on this gray kind of layer change the blending mode from normal and change it to linear light so when you do that you're going to be able to get back the image the way it was meant to look so hold down the ctrl or command and select both layers and hit ctrl or command g on the keyboard to put them in a group and you're going to name that group frequency separation just like that so what we are going to be doing we are going to now i'm just going to hold down the space bar and click to move so we're going to open this group and you're going to select the high frequency layer come and create a black and white layer inside of the frequency separation group so you have to select the high frequency layer and come and create a black and white so come the red channel left click and move towards the left hand side the reason for doing this is because we want to see every area that has imperfect skin tone transitions and we want to blend it together so the reason that's why you're seeing this cross icon measure like every time you're doing anything in photoshop turn off the uh, caps lock key make sure the caps is off and now after you have created the black and white layer we have to deal with the colors and the skin tones so come and select the low frequency layer then come under the brushes right click and come to the mixer brush tool so we have to set up the mixer brush tool in order to blend or even out the skin tones and we have nice transitions within the skin tones make sure it is a clean brush so we have two options right here we have load the brush after it and every stroke and clean the brush after it and every stroke so we only want this selected so come and select this option wetness we're going to be using wetness of 9 load 75 mix 90 and the flow 100 make sure sample all as is not checked or marked and because we only want to deal with the colors and skin tones and we don't want to sample or get information from the high frequency layer increase on the size by using the brackets on the keyboard and simply start hold down the left click button and start evening out on the tones in this image just like that so the one doing this i'm blending the mid tones alone as the highlights alone and the shadows alone in this image so that i can create a nice transition are within the skin tones in this particular image so make sure you blend the mid tones alone the highlights alone and the shadows alone and remain within the borders of a given a uh, skin tone transition or level so let's just do that so in order to see the progress turn this off and you can see the before and the after for just using the mixer brush tool so you can as well work without the black and white but i prefer to use it because it shows me every area that has a skin tone that is not perfect so always make sure when you're blending you blend up from your low frequency layer right here so just continue evening out at the skin tones reduce on the size depending on the area you want to blend or even out so left click and move up and down and just harmonize or even out at the skin tone transitions in the image just like that so just going to come and even out this area too so i hope you guys are learning something because I, I thought like i should do a shorter tutorial about skin retouching i'm just going to uh you can now zoom in and zoom out by using the uh command plus or control plus on the keyboard so just come and even out as uh, the forehead skin tones too so i think uh, that is fine so remember you also want to work on the hands or the arms of the model so you have to click and move or you can use these options right here so let's just even out the tones on the chest area and the hands and i think when we are done doing so you're going to notice that the mixer brush tool is really a powerful tool so let's see the before and after we're going to turn off the black and red and you can see the before and after before after so what we want to do we want to refine our skin retouching so we are basically going to come to the lasso tool and this time around zoom into the image even more and you're going to make a selection on the skin area just like that 
the way light is falling on that area just like that come to filter and come to blind come to gush and blur so you have to make sure that this radius is uh, the one we had for frequency separation so you simply left click and move towards the right hand side up to a point when you're seeing that you have the nice skin texture out of uh, your image so or, or rather since we had the radius of 6, when you multiply 6 by 3, so whichever radius you may have used on your image, just multiply it by 3, and it's going to give you the best skin texture out of your image. So I'm just going to put 18, and you can see that it is really nice. So hit OK. So I want to apply this on to the overall image. So right click and come to Gaussian Blur just like that. So just want to apply the effect right on these areas. So right click and come to Gaussian Blur then come right under the lip and right click and come to Gaussian Blur so basically that is what we want to do uh, on this particular image to refine the areas we may have missed out when we are using uh, the mixer brush tool to even out the skin tones in this particular image so right click and come back to Gaussian Blur and you can see that this is a uh, more of a refining technique of uh, the skin tones and the skin textures in the images using frequency separation so i think uh, the image is now looking nice and awesome you can see before and after before after and we have not really distorted uh, the shape of the model's face so what we want to do we want to do a little bit of uh, final touches onto this image i'm just going to click and delete the black and white layer close the frequency separation group and right now what we want to do we want to do a little bit of touch up right here on the lip area so we're going to create a screenshot of all we have done by hitting shift alternate command e on the keyboard and we're going to come and get our spot our clone stamp tool and make sure sampling is on the current layer and now zoom into the image because we want to fix this lip area right here so increase on the size of the uh, clone stamp tool and simply hold down the alternate key sample from uh, this area and now just come and paint to fix the lip area or the lipstick that was missing in this particular area so just do that so you can see how effective this tool is so you can even come and clean up this area of the lips just like that so you can see the before and after before after we have just fixed that in just a short while so we want to do a little bit of eye and teeth whitening to the model's eyes and teeth so simply duplicate this layer by hitting ctrl or command j and come to filter and come to the camera row filter and we are going to uh, do a little bit of eye and teeth whitening so zoom into by clicking over this or you can use command plus or ctrl plus get the adjustment brush tool and Take the temperature all the way down to around a uh, negative 26 and the tint uh, to around 63 or 62 because we are eliminating greens from the white area of the eye. The highlights at 4 plus the whites because we want the eyes to pop. And now take the saturation all the way down to eliminate color from uh, the white area of the eye to around 62 and simply I left click and start painting over the white area of the eye so make sure you only paint over on what you feel should be white in the images so hold down the space bar left click and move to another area and just whiten the second eye uh, hold down the space bar click and now come to the teeth and do the same for the teeth whitening basically so let's just whiten the teeth and you're going to be good to go uh, with this image so i think we are done whitening the teeth too so command minus to zoom out and simply hit ok to open the image back into photoshop so let's see the before and after for the overall skin retouching and eye and teeth whitening so this was the image initially before after before after and i hope you guys love it so i do so the final step for color grading is going to initially be coming to the selective color option and simply play around with the color so come the blacks and simply intensify on the blacks in the image then come under the reds because i want to reduce the amount of reds in the image i'm just going to turn down the magentas from this image just a little bit and i'm going to uh, reduce on the yellows too from this image just a little bit then i'm going to come under the yellows and simply eliminate uh, the yellows too 
just a little bit so you can see the before after before after we still have the image intact and looking amazing the way it was meant to be so you can now go ahead and export this image uh, the best way by simply coming to file and come to export and coming to export as so when you come to export as it's going to open for you this uh, little window right here and under this window you can select the format that is a jpeg of course uh, if at all you want a sharp image come and select resampling to by cubic sharper and when you select that come and convert select convert convert as rgb and embed as a color profile and when you're done doing all that simply hit export and you can save it the way you want i'm just going to name this oscar and the, the folder and hit hit save and it's going to export and save the image in that particular folder so this is all for this tutorial and if at all you have learned something new from this tutorial don't forget this to to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another tutorial and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating